Hello everyone and welcome to this session on UI UX design tools by IntelliPath. With the technological advancement in the 21st century, everybody wants to experience the best technology without spending too much of their time and exhausting their busy brains. When it comes to the mobile application or website user satisfaction, most technology firms turn towards applications, user interface and user experience design. This shows the importance of UI UX in today's world. In this video, we will learn about some important UI UX tools and their use cases. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPath. In today's video, I'll be talking about the tools needed to be a UI and UX designer. Now let us take a look at the agenda for today's video. Uh, do not be alarmed by the number of topics you guys see in this agenda. So I'll be explaining in the introduction part why I, I have uh, chosen all these uh, different topics. These are nothing but the UI uh, design process. Uh, there are seven processes in total, uh, starting from the UX research to finally ending it with UX documentation. And finally, I'll be concluding uh, the video. So without further ado, let us begin with the video. Introduction. Now, it doesn't make sense for me to give a list of tools that are used by UI UX designers and be done with the video. That will create a paradox of choice for my viewers. Instead, I will be taking you through the UI UX design process. And under this processes, I will be giving out the most used tool in the industry for that particular process. Now, let us see the UI UX design process, uh, the stages of it. The UI UX process generally includes all these stages. First, we start off with uh, UX research. Then we go with ideation and workshopping, followed by wireframing, prototyping, UI design, user and usability testing, UX documentation. Now, now that we are uh, clear with uh, all of the stages here, uh, let us move on. And now we'll be going through every stage and be knowing about what tools the industry is using for each of them respectively. UX research tool. Every UX project should start with research. In the UX research phase, the aim is to learn about your target users. In particular, you want to understand their motives, behaviors, needs, and pain points in relation to your design challenge. With these insights, you can design to solve the right user problems and meet specific user needs. So the industry standard tool that is used for uh, UX research stage is Optimal Workshop. Optimal Workshop is your all-in-one UX research toolbox and it uh, comprises of five tools or sub-tools uh, in total. And uh, these are Optimal Sort, TreeJack, Chalkmark, Questions and Reframer. The price for this tool is on the higher end, but you can use the trial version and uh, use free alternatives like Google Drive uh, for each sub tools mentioned in the above list. So once you start using uh, the trial version of Optimal Workshop, you'll get an idea of uh, what other free alternatives are there in out there in the market so that you can use uh, start using them. Next, we have uh, ideation and workshopping. Another key step in UX design process is ideation. Traditionally, you might do this in a meeting room with a physical whiteboard or a flip chart. But with remote work and freelancing becoming the norm, it is essential that you, you are able to collaborate virtually also. So the industry standard tool that is used for this stage is Miro. Miro is one of the most versatile remote tools on the market and as a UX designer, there's virtually no limit to what you can do with this user-friendly, feature-packed, collaborative whiteboard. Next, we have wireframing tool. A wireframe is a bare-bones blueprint of a design, mapping out the basic layout of a digital interface. Wireframes depict where different elements will sit on the page and are usually devoid of any color or visual design input. Wireframing tools enable you to quickly access and create these blueprints, usually with the help of uh, drag and drop functionalities. So the industry standard tool uh, used here is called as Figma. Figma is a browser-based UX research tool with lots of capabilities, including wireframing. Figma has component-based wireframing kits with drag and drop interface. 
allowing you to easily insert, customize and organize the different elements of your interface. Now let us move on to prototyping. After wireframes, UX designers create prototypes. You can think of prototypes as advanced wireframes with more detail filled in. Depending on whether they are low, mid or high fidelity prototypes, you can include colors, text and interactive elements. When creating prototypes, you want to build a more accurate representation of how the final design will look and function. It is therefore important to work with good prototyping tools. And one of them is Proto.io. Proto.io is a feature-packed prototyping tool that enables you to bring your designs to life right in your browser. Now let us move on to UI design. There are many tools that combine both UX and UI design functionality, enabling you to complete your designs from early concepts all the way through the final visual touches. Some tools we've already looked at could also be included in this category like Figma. Now the industry standard tool that is used for UI design is Adobe XD. It is impossible to talk about the best UX design tools without mentioning Adobe XD. It is a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. XD is a vector based tool bursting with uh, functions and features to bring your designs to life. Now let us move on to the user and usability testing stage. As a UX designer, it is essential to test your designs on real users. This enables you to identify areas for improvement and to keep iterating towards a flawless user experience. So the industry standard tool used here is Hotjar. Hotjar is an intuitive user testing and behavior analytics tool that places a big emphasis on visual insights. That is, you can really step into your user's shoes and see your designs from their perspective. Now let us move on to the last stage of the UX design process, that is UX documentation. As you know, there are lots of moving parts to the UX and product development process. As such, UX designers need to stay organized. Ideally, you'll have everything documented in one place and easily accessible for all the stakeholders. So the industry standard tool used here is Google Drive. If you use Gmail, you're probably already familiar with uh, Google Drive. Google Drive is a cloud-based solution that allows you to store, share and collaborate on documents from any device. Now let us talk about the conclusion. Now that we have seen all the tools that are used in various stages of the UI UX design process, let us see what the tech stack or the solution stack looks like. First we start off with Optimal Workshop, uh, then we move on to Miro and then use Figma and then we can use Proto.io for prototyping and for UI design we can use Adobe XD. And for user and usability testing, we will be using Hotjar. And finally, for uh, UX documentation, we can use Google Drive. So this is what the solution stack looks like. You can use uh, alternatives uh, as you wish for any of the process or the stages here. But the basic layout will look something like this. Thank you for watching till the end, guys. Have a nice day. Just a quick info, guys. IntelliPad provides advanced certification in UI UX design. This course is developed and mentored by ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.